What's your name and what group are you in? Um, my name is Jenica, Jenica Jones, and I am in the Imaginary Ends group. Well, I'm Braxton McKay. I worked on Imaginary Ends uh, as the producer. My name's Lucio. I was the DP on Imaginary Ends. My name's Jasper. I did Boom for Imaginary Ends. Uh, I'm Oliver, and I did Sound for Imaginary Ends. My name is Rafe Sutton Father Rama. Uh, I was an actor in the movie Imaginary Ends. Uh, my name's Hendrix Richardson, and I'm in the Imaginary Friends group. Um, Z or Izzy, I was an actor. I was acting as Iris and um, the Imaginary End group. I'm Lucius. I am part of Imaginary End. What were some of the things you were really proud of while making this? Okay, so I have a few specific pieces that I'm like proud of, and then I have like general things that I'm proud of. Specific pieces, I love the science classroom scene. I love the lighting in it, it looks really pretty. Um, I love the dynamics between the characters. Um, I just generally enjoy the environment that I've been able to create on set. Just like a fun, jokey, circusy environment without killing anyone or dying, which I enjoy thoroughly. Some things that I'm proud of. I'm really proud of the acting, pretty proud of that. I think we did really well at getting some pretty good performances as well as letting the actors take the characters and make it their own. Uh, as well as some of the shots I think were very like, I really like the framing on a lot of them. Yeah. Has, has the movie turned out how, so far like how you expected it to? <laughs> Um, so the movie has taken on a different path that I am in love with. Everything that I pictured from the beginning of the film, I feel like it is better now that it's come to life and it, I've been able to let go of any vision and just try to create something that feels real and grounded in reality while also having this fun, silly element and environment. Another thing is how it was shot the like shots that we got and the completely different than the shot list we had in pre-production. What was it like being in charge of some of these kids and like helping create this with the director? Uh, it's always a bit tough. Uh, working with people isn't the easiest thing. They're not the most reliable, but it does. you do quickly learn how to adapt and once you start building that foundation with people, it gets easier and easier as time goes on to quickly communicate with each other and sort out any issues that come up and people just get better and more cohesive. Um, what's a shot that you like that you took or is there anything that like you specifically were in charge of that you are really proud of? Oh my gosh, the um the science lab when we I don't really know how to explain it. It was like a really pretty side angle and just the way that the lighting hit the characters is it's just so pretty and I'm so happy with how that turned out. Um, how did you make that shot? Like, what? Um, so we kind of, we set up the table, put all the um, lights, like lamps on, on the tables on, the, gosh, I can't speak. <laughs> so there was a bunch of little lamps, like heat lamps, and we turned all those on so that we could get more of a warm light. And then we put a quasar in front of our actors and we had a backlight. And just all of that combined together just looked really pretty. And just the way that the shot was composed, thanks to Jenica, of course. <laughs> yeah. How would you describe your time on set? It was OK. There was some bad and some good times. So it was very neutral, I felt like. It was pretty good. I mean, I think that it was good. And I like the people in our group. And I think that we all got along pretty well. There were some like mishaps and things like that that weren't great, but overall it was pretty good. Who is your character? Seth. He's a he's a he's a he's this, he's this kid. His mom's dead. Um, he's a kid that his mom died at a young age, and this imaginary friend was like, "Hey yo," and then he has an imaginary friend, and his dad's like never there because he's working. That's pretty much exact. That's just my character. He's a sheltered. Shy little guy, doesn't like making friends. Um, I'd say Noah is, you know, that one kid that you all know. Um, some people, everyone likes him, but like, 
he can get on your nerves, but you know, he'll have that one solid group of friends that will always like be loyal. Literally imaginary. She's fake and literally the definition of purple. Um, uh, like she's got this beautiful purple hair and she's like really, really close to uh, Seth. Um, what was your what's, what was your favorite memory so far on during filming and on set? Probably the library because it was really chill there and stuff, and like it was just really nice to go out of the school and stuff because I never got to have that experience at this school on set. My name is Hayes. Uh, I'm a director, and I was part of uh, Friend or Faye. Um, my name is Lakai. I was a producer and I was in the group Friend or Faye. My name is Faye um, and I am the director of photography um, on F Friend or Faye. I'm Nova. I was a sound mixer for Friend or Faye. Um, I'm, my name is Athena Owen. I am a makeup artist on Friend or Faye. Um, my name is Tamara Rockwell. I was an actress in Friend or Faye. I played Theo. I'm Taylor, and I played Finn in Friend or Faye. Um, my name is Moon. I was an actor on Friend or Faye. Um, what was it like being in charge of this group and directing this film? Um, oh. I don't know how to, I'm so bad at explaining things. Um, uh, it was really fun. It was very stressful, um, but you know, it's a fun movie, but. It was actually pretty easy. Everyone I worked with was very easy going and chill. And we got to pick who we worked with, so it was cool, it was fun. But also it did get really messy, but I don't wanna talk about that, that's lame. <laughs> what is something that you are proud of? Oh my gosh. I'm proud that we like just, got done with it, that we finished it at all. Um, there's a few there's a few scenes that I think were really pretty and looked great and I'm pretty proud of those. Yeah. Um finding food for the lunch scenes. That was really hard. What was your favorite memory on set? Um I think just bonding with the cast and crew. Um it was just like probably one of the best shoots I've had. You know, it was very peaceful, no drama, no problems. Um, it was just really nice and everyone was amazing. All of them are pretty fun. Um, anytime Taylor was with us, he's really fun, really funny. What was your time on set like? Uh, it could be better. Definitely a little stressful because some things were not going as planned on some days, but other than that, it it was decent. What were some of the steps you took in developing your character? Um, well, the character was honestly kind of just a lot like myself. So just kind of like a really, like, I wouldn't say I'm super giddy, but the character was very giddy and um, was just, I think the whole time was just trying to make a friend throughout the whole story. And I just, you know, very friendly towards people and very like um, helpful and, I just wanted to be like the best version of myself that I could be and that's just kind of how I found the character really. Some of the key things that I did to develop Finn is really just be rude. I mean his whole character is just a bully and I guess I took in a lot of um, other characters as example and um, past acting positions and uh, well, Jack is a bully, <laughs> so um, I would like playfully argue with my um, my other actors, like Tamara and stuff, uh, just for fun. Cause like, it, it was mutual, so it's okay. <laughs> um, I think that was pretty much it though, because I'm not, I don't know, like being that mean and having, having to make it like, genuine, um, I can play mean, I just don't want to be actually mean, so. Having to get in character for them, it was kind of just like, oh, just be playful and mean outside of um, the class, and then you'll be able to, you know, get back into that mindset when you're actually filming. Um, what's your name, position, and what group are you part of? My name is Connor Jensen. I'm a director on the Larson film. 
I'm gonna check this slate. My name's Sam. Um, I am the director, or one of the directors. My name's Shyla. Um, I'm a UPM or a producer on Larson. My name is Miles. I was the main character in Larson. Right. Um, and I was an actor. Oh, uh, my name's Arlo. Um, I was part of Larson and I did audio. How what was it like being in charge of like this group and directing? Um, it was extremely stressful and not even the filming part, but just keeping everybody happy and excited about the film is a lot harder than you would think, but it, everybody was, so it was great. I have never directed a big film before. I mean, not big, a small, a short film before. And it's kind of weird because I felt like I just got thrown into it. And so, I mean, I'm still here and we're still filming the movie, so obviously something went right. <laughs> What's something that you're proud of during the, the filming of this movie? Um, I'm really proud. We had this scene where we had to burn a duck alive and it had to melt. Um, I'm really happy that that turned out the way it was and I'm really happy that everybody was safe at the end of it. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm just proud of the fact that we're getting this movie done. <laughs> Has this whole situation in the film, has it all turned out how you expected it, or is it different? Not in any way, shape, or form did it turn out how we expected it to, but I think it works, because it turned out a little better than we expected, in my opinion, but... What were some of the key things that you did to develop your character? <sighs> well, I watched a lot of sad movies, and I just thought about the people in my life dying, mostly. Cause it's like a really sad movie about like death and grief. So I just like tried to like, just like get in touch with my emotions basically. If you could describe your character in a good amount of detail, what would it be? Uh, kind of like a quiet bully. Um, doesn't really do much or say much, but is there. Um, Daniel is, like, a very happy-go-lucky, like, straight-A kid, and he is, like, very creative and kind, and then, like, he, like, sort of, like, loses his, like, spark after his dad kills himself, which is fair. What was your favorite memory that you have on set? My favorite memory? Um... I got to hang out with Pete and Thomas, and in one scene, Thomas, like, he, like, f flared his shirt, and I thought it was funny. 